all right guys so happy wednesday and i am super super excited because i found all of the uh cutting machine materials the cricut silhouette cameo whatever you have <clears throat> excuse me i i found them at the dollar tree and this is everything that i found um, that's not to say this is everything that they have, but this is what, sorry, my son is stomping upstairs. So this is everything that I found. And I actually was, um, visiting my aunt in Illinois and I found these at a store in Illinois. And then I found out that they're going to have them here at the store in Indiana. So there you go. So if you're in Illinois or Indiana, they're coming, they're coming, be patient. Hopefully you'll find them soon. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the colors that I found, all the different materials, and then I printed out a little, uh, a transfer on, what am I trying to say? I printed something out on my Cricut, so I'm going to transfer it over, use the tools, use the transfer tape, and kind of see how I like it. So the colors that I found were yellow, and it's this bright um, I don't know if it's washing out, but it's like a, like a bee colored yellow. Then they had green and they're like primary colors. So green, they have the white and these are just as permanent white. And these are all permanent. So permanent green, permanent yellow, permanent white and permanent black. And I use the black to make my, my cut. So I'll show you that shortly. And I grabbed this one thinking it was vinyl, but it's actually transfer tape. But they also had a smaller one. So, um, I guess for the Cricut Joy, maybe. I'm not really sure. I don't have a Cricut Joy, but this looks like about the size of the ones that I've seen. So, those were all the vinyls and the transfer tapes. I'm just going to sit those right there. And then this was exciting. They had these faux leather um, pieces. And I'm actually going to open one up. They had four colors at the one that I went to. Oh, and by the way, the, oh, the size of the vinyls is the same size oh, here we go. as the Cricut vinyl. The one row like this. It's 12 by 48. So they're both... 12 by 48 and you know these are not a dollar so see how they work so i'm going to put this one there and i'm going to put my cricut one back where it was and then these faux leather pieces are 11 and a half <clears throat> excuse me by 20 and they're not super thick which i think would make them a lot easier to work with so um so that's what you get and that's how big they are. And I don't know if you can see the texture there. But this is like that, uh, it's not camel. What color is this? Um, I did this when I was making the little pottery too. Anyway, that's the terracotta. That's the color it looks like to me. But um, I know the leather has a different color for it. And I don't see that it says the name of the color on here. Do -do -do -do. No, it doesn't say what color it is, but... Nonetheless, this is the color that one. Then they had a navy blue one, a black one, and a white one. And those are the four that I found. And I'm not going to cut those up or use them because I don't know what I want to do with them yet. So those are those. And then I found these four. Oh, I don't know how, how that looks on camera, but these four glitter ion ion iron on transfers and there's silver blue gold and red and um they're about do I have my ruler i don't have my ruler here but they look like about the size of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper so that's how big these are and i know that i hauled a rose gold one but i don't think it was um the crafter square brand it was some other brand but it's the same kind of idea and then 
I found all the tools. And these are the four colors that they come in. So it's like a peach, a fuchsia, pinkish purple, light blue, and then all white. And then these are the, just the three types of tools that I found. So you have the little the picker, the scraper, and the spatula. So I'm going to use these um, today. And yeah. So let me move these things to the side here. I'm actually going to use this transfer tape. And here is the vinyl that I cut. Now, I messed it up a little bit when I was pulling it off. I pulled this, uh, I pulled the vinyl instead of the whole thing. So I kind of messed it up. So hopefully it'll still work okay. So I'm going to peel this off. And actually, let me open up my, I need the spatula, I don't think. But this I'm going to need. Should have done this beforehand so i got that i don't need my spec oh i put my pickers up oh, okay so move these and here we go i can't imagine these aren't gonna work well because i mean you know it's just a tool Alright, so there's that. Then let me get some scissors here so I can cut some transfer tape. Then let me finish doing this first. Sorry, I'm all over the place, guys. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's coming off pretty quick. Usually I lose my, my periods or my dots there. I guess I can use this, huh? Let's do this. Use the tools. Let's use the tools. Have a have a dot here so I mean it's probably this is the part that I messed up right here so let me make sure I get this right ah. there we go and I've never really been very good at this but nonetheless here we go trying it out for you there we go uh oh Get off. Get off. There we go. Bam. So, I mean, it's coming off. This is, you know, just as much trouble <laughs> as I have with any other vinyl that I use. So, that's pretty good. And I'm going to probably speed this up so you don't have to watch me do this. All right. All right, so now we're going to, and that didn't weed any easier or worse than regular uh, than regular vinyl. And then this is the. Let me see if I can hear. Uh, oh, 
think I have a new transfer key. Yeah, I don't have a new roll of transfer tape. I'm pretty sure you get more transfer tape with uh, Cricut. But I don't generally use Cricut's transfer tape anyway. I usually use the Dollar Tree uh, shelf liner. The clear one or I found this stuff at Dollar General that works really well and I've been using those so I think I have like one roll of uh, the Cricut transfer tape that I've had forever like I said I don't really use it that often and I will say this is pretty thin so it's not nearly as thick as either the Cricut transfer tape or the, uh, the other stuff that I use. It's really thin, like real thin. So see if that makes a difference or not. And then I'm just going to um, put it onto the back of this. I was going to put it on here, but this has some glitter on it. Let's see. Do I have another one? I'm sure I do. I have tons of them. So here we go. I'm just going to use a different one. And this is just one of these Dollar Tree signs that I got uh, a while back for a quarter. Not a while back, a couple weeks ago for a quarter each. And of course, this label is not going to come off. Really? Well, I'm going to put it on this side here just to show you. And if anything, I'll probably cut that off anyway. So it doesn't matter. Now there's glitter everywhere. Ugh. Probably should have used something else. Yeah, so this is really thin. Mm. You can even hear it. It's like real, kind of like cellophane or something. I don't know. It's really, really thin. But I guess if you're in a jam, see, I already messed it up. It's like stuck to it. Oh, no. Oh, that's what that's from. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Oh man, I messed it up. This wasn't, this has nothing to do with the product. This was Melissa. This was all Melissa. Okay, hold on. Ugh, I messed it up. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Alright, so this was user error. It has nothing to do with the product here. Melissa's a dummy. There we go. Alright. And here's my eye. I was wondering what this was up here. <laughs> is it on this side or this side? Oh, it's on this side. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. Again, has nothing to do with the vinyl or anything. This is... Melissa doesn't know how to make it DIY. Hey, I'm not a professional. I just play one on YouTube. So here we go. All right. Alright, so then I'm going to take my scraper here. Let's see, I mean, we know it works. We know it sticks. So, there's that. Get it all stuck on there. And let's see. Alright. I mean, it looks to transfer pretty well. So, that's good. And then, we're just going to line it up there it's not going to be perfect as far as how it's lined up so oh now we're just going to do this let's see how well it sticks just move that down all right in the moment of truth here we go You just have to kind of scrape it a little bit more maybe I didn't let's do a little bit more maybe I didn't I didn't scrape it enough let's see Can you see it
All right, guys, it seems to be working pretty well. And I mean, and this happens with regular, and like I said, this has ended up with some glitter on it, so that may be contributing. But I mean, this happens when I'm using my regular vinyl, so um, that's neither here nor there. I mean, in this um, transfer tape, works pretty well too. Okay, come on. Stay down. Stay. Let me help it a little bit there. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright guys, I, you know, I don't have any complaints thus far i mean like i said this is working just as well as any other vinyl that i've used now i did notice that my little dot to my eye is over here somewhere but that was probably my fault and that's an easy fix there this one probably needs to move down a little bit. Oh. No. All right. Okay. So, I don't know guys, it looks looks good to me. Seems to stick well. The vinyl worked. I mean, the uh, transfer tape worked well. Like I said, it's really thin compared to, like, the other ones. And like I said, you can even hear it. It kind of sounds like, um, I don't know, just like wrapping or whatever. I don't know that you'd be able to use it more than once because it's already kind of, well, I don't know. You might be able to. I mean, I have no complaints. I like all of it. I mean, they don't have any tweezers in the set but technically you could just use regular tweezers um and i can show you they have detail scissors so there's that and then let's see i don't have the only thing i don't have on hand is my scraper but i mean it's pretty pretty similar i can show you this one just to kind of compare the two ah I can get it out okay I should have done all this beforehand but you know you live and you learn okay so there are, this one's a little bit longer and I kind of like this one because it has Kind of a little bit of a slide here so it looks like it can probably get under things a lot better than this one and this is my Cricut one um i like that it has these little dents in there so it kind of makes it a little bit easier to hold so i mean all in all like i said i i like the stuff let me see if i can find, grab my um little thingy real quick Here it is. All right, so here's the Cricut one. This one, again, is just a little bit longer. And I do like that it has these um, little indentations here for your fingers so you can hold it. But those are those. And these are pretty much the same size. And it worked. Oh. There we go. And it worked just as well. So I've got glitter everywhere from this stupid sign. But yeah. And I, you know, I love the different colors. Especially this one. I wish they had them all in these colors. But I think this one only came in this color and white. Uh, this came in this color and white. And these came in blue and white. So, or, yeah, I think. Oh, no. Oh, this came in the peach and white, 
this came in blue and white and this came in purple and white so those were the colors so guys i think i mean especially if you're in a pinch and i think it's worth it personally so there you go i mean i don't know how well it's going to stand up it says that it's permanent but i mean i have no complaints it looks good looks just like the regular cricut vinyl and i mean that's it guys i i'm happy with it and again they had you know they don't have the tweezers but you just get some regular tweezers the dollar tree has them in the um automotive section you can get tweezers just about the same as these and then the detail scissors you know they have in the crafter score section so guys that's it for this little review slash haul i do have another like regular haul but i'll do that another day and that's it guys thank you for watching i hope this helps you i hope you guys are able to find these items and until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye guys